Hey, Bjorn Strong, I'm here. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Science. And today we are going to be having a look at how Alpha 17 has changed the way that insects and insect infestations work. In an earlier video, I did some uh, tests and we found out that where the insects spawn uh, depends a lot on how mountainy or for you pedants out there, mountainous a certain area is. That is how deep inside of a mountain it is how cold it is and how much uh, light level it has but it was not affected by dirt or flooring type or heat none of those made any difference oh we also discovered that it had to be region of at least at 16 tiles large and we also looked at a kind of strategy for dealing with infestations which was to use this information to make a kind of honey trap where you want the insects to spawn when they do arrive and then burn them out with a Molotov or an incendiary launcher. So in this episode, we'll double check whether or not all of those factors still play a similar sort of role, as well as looking at some changes to the AI for the insects and how that will affect the kind of honey trap, burn them out strategy. But first things first, one major change about insect infestations that we have to check out. See, I've got this large mountainous region hollowed out here. Uh, but if I come and do the draw infestation chance, instead of seeing some blue like we would expect showing us that insects might spawn here, there's nothing at all. However, if we come over to a structure and put in, say, a wall right there, all of a sudden, boom, a whole lot more comes out. And uh, if we kind of check the size of this thing, we'll see that this is, this is kind of a circle. <laughs> Not a smooth circle, but kind of broadly circular with a radius of 30, not accounting the center point. So, and we can uh, delete the wall, it'll go away. And we can come back and put in something else, say uh, a stool or an animal sleeping spot. And we, it, it stays here. So it looks that now in Alpha 17, in order to be eligible for uh, insect spawn, a, a tile has to be within a 31, counting the, the spot radius of something that you've built. Now notice it's not the home area that's doing this. We can remove the home area and it's still there. Notice also that uh, that's only for structures. Flooring does not seem to make this kind of difference at all. So put a floor here, nothing happens. So that is uh, the new big change that we do already know of for spawning. The spawning, it has to be close within that, that 30 block radius of something that you have built. So with that out of the way, we'll look at how these other factors affect us. We have uh, two regions that are the exact same size, but one of them is deeper in the mountain. And so it's got a lot more blue. I do have a wall right here. So all of this area will count as eligible for infestation. And we'll, we'll check out um, first how the light will affect it. So let's come over here. I have unlimited power turned on and let's go ahead and grab a uh, few lamps. And if the light actually affects it, we should see this getting darker as we put more lights in here. Well, once they have a chance to turn on. All right, when they turned on, you saw that get a little bit darker. Also notice that the, the change wasn't just from losing these spawning spaces. When we first put them in, there wasn't a change. It was after we turned it on and let it run for a second that this got a little bit darker. And now, of course, if we go ahead and uh, destroy this, the, the bit on the right should get a little bit lighter. Yeah, and sure enough, so it did. And next here, we'll check out the temperature and how that affects it. I've uh, used the, the push heat tools to get this down to a minus 18 degrees Celsius. As you see, there's no blue in here at all. It's all moved over here. And now I'm going to gradually raise it. And we see uh, as we hit 17, still nothing. 16, it starts getting blue. And as we go up, there's a gradual switch until we get to about minus seven. And there it stabilizes. So as before, having it cool makes it a lower chance of spawning uh, down to zero at minus 17, zero chance of spawning. Now let's try heat. So we'll use the push heat tool and make it hotter in here. And notice, doesn't matter how hot we make it, all the way up to 2000 degrees Celsius. Uh, 
this doesn't get any less, doesn't, doesn't affect it at all. So cold reduces chances, heat does not make uh, spawning any less likely, no matter how hot it gets. We'll also really quick here check floors. So uh, put down marble tile, put down some concrete, put down some wood floor, put down some sterile tile, put down some uh, silver tile, put down some carpet, or put down some flagstone. And nothing we did change the color here at all. So floor style is not making any difference. Finally, we will try making this one dirtier and see if it gets any more likely to spawn that way. So drop down a lot. And it's dirty, but that hasn't the, the blue hasn't darkened up any and the blue here hasn't lightened up any either. So it looks as before, uh, dirt, floor style, and heat are not making any sort of difference. Now, the last thing worth mentioning real quick here too is we noted last time that uh, insects cannot spawn on where you have furniture placed. So say an animal bed. So no blue there, insects can't spawn there. Now, uh, it was the case in earlier alphas that if you put down conduits, then uh, they wouldn't be able to spawn there either. That's been patched out. So I'll put down some uh, power conduit. And you see, there's still just as much blue there. But what hasn't been patched out, and it, it, this is like super cheesy, but you can do it, is sleeping spots. If you line a floor with sleeping spots or with animal sleeping spots, then insects cannot spawn there. And so you can affect uh, the spawning that way as well. So in general, the mechanics have not changed with the exception that now in order to get a spawn in an area, it has to be within that 30 tile radius of something that you have built. So we can still create a honey trap like we did before, an area that's deep inside a mountain, you know, aimed to get insects to spawn there instead of spawning in your kind of more shallow carved into the mountain part of your base. But we also need to look at how the AI has changed. So suppose we go ahead and bring in a fairly large infestation. That's not very large. Let's get a bigger one. All right, that's a little better. And the idea is we'll take someone like uh, Ram Ram here who's got some Molotov cocktails. We will uh, bring him to right over here while these insects uh, spawn and start wandering around. And we will bring him to right, say, about here. And actually, we'll have him uh, burn down this bit of wood that we've constructed and have him run off. And we'll forbid this. And it's real important when you do this. You want to make sure that... Uh, you don't have any home area in here, so people aren't trying to run in, run in there and, um, you know, put out the fire. Now, okay, good. The, a spark did come across. Now, what we want to do here as well, though, is let's watch how these guys path as they run around. So they're just kind of pathing around as it gets a little bit hotter, digging around kind of randomly until a time comes when they get hot enough and worried enough that they will suddenly spawn out at my my people outside. There it was. We just went right past it. They, they're doing again. See now there's they're spawning straight for Ram Ram, and uh, as a result, making a beeline for this door. Now I have got I've got this second backup door here, and so I might be lucky enough, and a third one here. I might be lucky enough that these guys are going to all die before they get all the way out. But as you can see, it is a more risky business at this point. Yeah, they're all downed. And as long as this keeps heating up long enough, they'll eventually going to die. But it is a risky business. If I just had the one door there and nothing there and there, they would have gotten out and attacked me. And that could have been really bad. So this strategy is a little bit more dangerous. There are things you can do, however, to make it a little bit more effective. So here's that same room I had, but I laid down carpet because carpet and wood floors are flammable in Alpha 17. And also I put down a bunch of uh, sleeping spots here so that when they spawn, nobody will come and spawn at this spot right here. And now let's spawn in another very large one of these things. Let's go for the full 4,000 points. That's a lot of insects. 
And now we'll bring Ran Ran to right here. And they're going to keep on spawning. Yeah, it's a lot of them there. And we're going to have him, doesn't matter where he throws, go to there. And now this this will act as kind of a wick because uh, the, the it'll kind of start burning this way. And also at the same time, because there's so much more to burn, it'll heat up a lot faster in here. Now these guys, these guys will still try to come and attack these doors when they get really hot. That's still going to happen. We're still going to have to rely on having lots of these things, um, you know, in order to keep them from getting through. But because the fire can spread so much faster over the carpet, we are a little bit better off. Sure enough, they're all taken care of. So the same strategy will work as works before, but there's just things you can do to make it a little bit safer and a little bit more effective with the new kind of bug AI. So that's what we've learned today. By and large, in Alpha 17, the mechanics for insect spawning have not changed, although the uh, AI has changed, and there's the new requirement that they have to be within a 30 block radius of something you have built. But with that in mind, you can use uh, the strategy outlined here or come up with your own strategies to deal with insect infestations and make your colony a safer place to live. But that is all that I have for today. As always, let me know in the comments what you would like to see me do RimWorld Science on next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.